What is up, snackers? Woo! Welcome back to another vlog this week. Yay! Love to see it. Um, that's right. We are hitting out with two vlogs this week instead of a pod because life is lifing and it's just kind of it's just easier to document what we got going on. So tonight is date night. We are off to Monday night brewing on a Monday night on a Monday night, which is really cool. So um, I, I think you said it was trivia night or something like that. Yeah, I do trivia on Monday. Okay, so we're just gonna go have a good time. Um, their beers are pretty good. We've been once before. Um, pizza's good. So yeah, we're just gonna go have a chill little date night at Monday Night Brewing in Charlotte. If you haven't been there, check them out. And yeah, come along. <laughs> So we came outside because we <laughs> trying to get away from the noise, but uh, yeah, but they put speakers all around this shit. So <laughs> y'all are going to hear background music regardless of where we are. So hopefully you can hear us a little bit better now. Um, but yeah, our food is here. So we're going to get into it and let's rate and review. What did you the, get? I got the, uh, the Bianca fungi. Ooh. Yeah, so it's got like mushrooms. Yeah. Tons of mushrooms, a little olives, Ooh. Uh, garlic. Yeah. This is good. I got the. Which I think it's ricotta cheese, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I have ricotta cheese. Truthfully, I don't remember what this one was called. The. The. the I, I can't remember. It started with a pepper. Pepperdew. Pepperdew. Thank you. Um, it's got like beef, caramelized onions. Sorry, y'all, we're by the street, so you can probably hear <laughs> like cars and stuff. Um, but yeah, some special cheese. So let's 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 cheers. Mm. That's good. Yeah, that's fine. Mmm. Okay. I 
I'll eat that. Yum. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm rocking. <laughs> also, well one, we don't have napkins, but two, we, remember we told y'all that we were getting mozzarella sticks? These are indeed not mozzarella sticks. I don't know if we read it, wet it. I don't know if we read it wrong, but it's literally just like a flatbread with cheese. I don't know if y'all can. <laughs> it's not what we were expecting at all. Should we try one though anyway? Yeah. Thank you. So peep the rosemary. At least they didn't lie about that. Yeah. <laughs> Got a ranch fanatic over here, so. Now, let me tell you, on the menu, it said it came with ranch. So that was not me this time. But I'm not mad at it at all. I'm gonna do a little marinara sauce. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Wow. The rosemary's are very nice touch. The rosemary is very strong too. Mm-hmm. I like it. Oh yeah, this box. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. We're rocking with it. I'm rocking. On a scale of one to ten. What are we rating the sticks? I give them a seven. I was gonna say they could still be a little bit bigger, so yeah, I'm gonna say like a seven. I'm gonna go seven. Flavor's good. I'm just disappointed they weren't breaded mozzarella sticks like I thought they were gonna be. What about your pizza? Mm. I'm not a huge fan of them. The thin crust thing they got going on. Mm. It's like all top and like no sauce. <laughs> My fridge, it's like cheese. And They're like lacking on the marinara. Yeah. Like, okay. Maybe about seven. Mm. What about yours? I like the flavors on mine, mm. but I had a different one last time, which was the hot honey. That one's better than this one. So. I understood. I really like a seven and a half. Seven and a half? Yeah. Like the flavor's there. It's just not better than the hot honey one. If you know me, I really like spicy foods. And I especially love like hot honey stuff, like wings and like anything that has a hot honey flavor because I just think those two go hand in hand. But. Not bad. Cool. We're gonna keep an ear out for trivia because I definitely want to play if they do another round. Then it requires us to be inside though, so. <laughs> All right, well. We'll check back in. Okay, I have something to show that I want your thoughts on. I'll have to speed up the TikTok in the actual vlog, but you have to watch this. I stalked my husband for two years before I formally met him. Okay, so to sum it up, but, wait, I mean, wait, I got, I got to fill the, what? It was like ants on <gasps> Oh, let me not put it on you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, quickly to sum it up. Basically, this girl kind of sort of stalked her husband before he was no, her husband. Sort of, she did. <laughs> She literally followed this man's entire existence. She basically like saw him one day 
Um, I guess he was friends with the brother. Yeah. It started as he was friends with the brother, and she was like, "Okay, I have to do everything possible to like stay around him, be around him, get in with his family, like all this Became stuff." Became friends with the boy's brother. Became friends with his brother, so he could like she could stay close. Found out, like she tried to make it seem like it was coincidence that she was going to the same. She's going to school at the same place that he was going, but like she found out that he and got he was in working school. At a place out there, and so she applied to all the colleges that was nearby. The job he got in New York, which is crazy. I feel like we have to yell because I feel like they can't hear us. I don't know if they could, but like it's kind of loud. But so basically, she stopped him. Um, okay, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> if if that were me, would you stay with me? Okay, that's the true definition of determination. So, <laughs> must have really wanted to be with this guy really bad. So, well, she did, and got him. That's just crazy. Like, married to him and everything. So, would that or they're getting married? Would that creep you out if you found out? It would raise an eyebrow. Mm -hmm. I won't lie, but just the fact that she's like kind of capable of like. Yeah. Orchestrating like, something like that. Crazy. Yeah. Her mind. <laughs> like the length she was willing to go to go and, you know, entice this man or go and get this man. It's crazy. So what? it would definitely raise an eyebrow, but yeah. I don't like I mean I probably still would date you like. You would stay. Yeah. I mean Okay. I commend your hard work, so <laughs> Okay, I have an update. Okay, so basically the update, the husband divorced her because <laughs> he was entirely creeped out. After he said that he wouldn't know, which is crazy. Oh, yeah. So he told her. That he was going to go stay at a hotel for now. And yeah. That, you know, everything was good. Right. Family, he just but. needed some time to think and some space, but that he loved her. He went straight to his mama house <laughs> and told all them boys about her practically stalking his entire existence. Yep. Family don't want nothing to do with it. So Hell he no. Like, they said, leave her ass. I'm out. That's crazy. I'm not nuts. <laughs> okay, so now that you have the update, That's is crazy. your answer any different or no? Nah, like, I would have I would have appreciated had you told me, like, earlier. Like, you before know, like, we got married. Yeah. Sure. Like, the fact that, that you is, told me, yeah, that is that's the wild cool. thing. Like, I appreciate that, but, bro, you should have told me that way before we hit this altar like sure but <laughs> it, that I don't is know, so man. wild <laughs> I think the only thing that's like oh shit that's I think, crazy bro it like, is I think if it was like the other way around I think the only thing that would scare me is just the fact that you are like capable of orchestrating something like being that, that detail, like yes like to the point where it's like okay if he's gonna if she's gonna be here that I need to get in with this person, this person, this person, and act a certain way and like ask questions about her and like, like that's really what she was doing was like. Getting around the boy, mama. Yes. Get, making friends with her, the brother. Well, like, that's why, bro. cause the part of the TikTok was like, okay, his, the husband's point of view was like, how much of you is like fabricated to be something that I like? Like, you want me so bad. Like, how how much of it is, like, fake? Right. Because you want it to be with me. Oh, God. That's just that nuts. That shit's a term. Like, <laughs> that shit's a, term. a very interesting term. I wanted to get your take on it because God, I just man. wanted to know, like, what would you do in that situation if I came to you and was like... Oh, I'll put it this way. Like, it's cool. Like, you told me and everything. Like, so I don't... I think, we would, I think I'd probably stay... But you I'm roasting your ass, boy. <gasps> I'm boy. I'm whoo. as a cold-blooded stalker. Bro, they might 
they might as well give me a Netflix special, bro. I'm going Dave Chappelle on your ass. Like, Relax. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm going so hard. Like, I mean, rightfully so. Bruh. Like, I, that's nuts. I'm going in, bro. I'm letting you know that now. I don't know. I don't. If it was the other way around, I don't know if I'd stay. Of course you would. That's scary to me. It's a little creepy. But. So I shouldn't stay. No, you like crazy apparently. <laughs> so I you really can don't, stay. Like, <laughs> the only reason why you got a pass is probably because like you at least told me. Like, I didn't have to find out on my own. Sure. That's what saved you. Or that's what she did in this scenario. She was honest with him. Just unfortunately, <laughs> after they got married. Golly. Wow. No. I don't know, bro. God, cause you got that man out here looking stupid. He thinking that it's just destiny, and y'all were just. Well, that's what she said. So in the to be, you know in the like, in the post, she was you saying going, like. Faking the whole time. Like, well, that's like, what she was nah, saying. Nah, nah. She was saying that she was like, I feel bad every time he tells somebody like how we met and what our yeah. love story is because like it's, it's, it's all a lie. lie. Yeah. Like Vegas. So you practice. So you would practically be Vegas. Like, yeah, nah, I'm good. I'm a dip. I'm gonna slide. <laughs> I'm a slide, yo. I'm a slide. Okay, yeah, I just wanted your your point of view on on that one. I I saw it the other day and was like, I have to see what if Devin would stay if this were the yeah, nah, if this I ain't case. <gasps> you change your answer now? Yeah, that's what I said. I'm fine. Slide. I'm good on that. <laughs> like, you practice in Vegas, like nah, a lie. I'm good. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Cause the crazy thing is, bro, if you would go that long without telling me something like that. Mm. That's what I'm trying to tell what else you. Are you for real? Babe, that's yeah, what I'm no. trying to say. If it was the other way around, I would really be skeptical that your mind is capable of like manipulation like that for so long. Like yeah. you Yeah, I have You are sitting here this. watching me lie to people saying how we met when you know exactly how we met and you orchestrated and the nothing. entire thing and said that's nothing. Yeah, nah. And married me in front of our friends and family that think we met a certain way. Yeah, you untrustworthy. Yeah, like it's kind of wild. I'm gonna hit the high road, Jack. I'm out. That's crazy. Okay, I love a little date night tea. I, I had to, I had to share it with you. Yeah, y'all go watch that TikTok. It's um, dang, did I really ed exit out of it? Please hold. It's like two uh, it's two takes is the podcast. If you literally type in. <laughs> Husband stalker, two takes. <laughs> You'll find it. First episode, boy. First yeah. episode. Hell yeah, it went viral. <laughs> but yeah, go check them out. Cool. There's cornhole around here, so we are definitely gonna. Oh, somebody already on. <gasps> no. Me? Okay. Well, when when they're done, I guess we'll get on that. Catch y'all later. Y'all, look what we got. The cornhole. Cornhole champ. About to kick the ass real quick. Y'all know how I get down. Okay, anyways. Oh. Ew, these are gross. Wet. They're a little far. Oh, no. Quick date. <laughs> Quick update on the game. What's the score? 12-12.
I don't know how I did it, y'all. Body sent it to the crib. Don't even worry about it. I took the flannel off. I think that's what's really helping me. Hopefully, that keeps up. We shall bring it back towards the end of the game and may the best player win. Update, uh, update on the score. It's 20 to 17 right now. Y'all guess who got 20. Okay, don't act like I'm not right behind you. All right, let's get it, let's see. Coming to you live and direct, man. I'll be the one bringing y'all home. Let's roll. We out. Out. Told y'all boys, man. Look, when it comes to that cornhole, I'm serious. I'm like that. Look at her. I'm the real look, winner. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Except it. I'm the real winner. Except defeat. The defeat. The real winner. Defeat. Is me. 17-21. I holla y'all boys, man. Hey, I'm holding it down out here. Because I prayed before no. I started. So I had God with me the whole time. Did you pray? Mm. Hands is gifted. Gifted hands, you know what I mean? All right, y'all. We are home, finally. Um, what would you rate date night? It was cool. I got the dub. The pizza was good. Okay. The, uh, the rosemary. Um, the sticks. Yeah, mozzarella sticks was hitting. Mm -hmm. The beer was top tier. Okay. Aftertaste was a little crazy to mix with the beer. I don't think that was a good combination, but the beer itself was good. Okay, so by itself, it was straight. With the pizza, not so much. I don't recommend. What did you say about the rosemary sticks? The, you said something about it being like it was, fresh. It tasted fresh, like borderline pine almost, like pine fresh. I guess rosemary already has like a woodsy type of mm -hmm. like taste to it. It's like isn't it? Dance. Isn't it an herb? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, it was hitting up. It was. It was really good. I would order them again. Yeah, I I seriously thought they were gonna be mozzarella sticks, but it's okay that they were. They still tasted good. Um, same. I think date night was cool. I'd give it. I'd give it an eight. We've had better. Date yeah, nights. That's what I'm saying. We've had better. But. We've had d better date nights, but that was fun. Um, I was gonna close out in the car, um, but I was like, no, let's just close out when we get home because we have Hendrix here, and vlog hasn't seen Hendrix since literally like infancy. Um, we come home and Hendrix has torn up his entire pen area, so he's punished. <laughs> And y'all will not be seeing him because he's away in the crate. Straight to bed. <laughs> he went out, did his business right back in the bed because no. But okay, y'all. We are closing out the vlog. Anything you want to say before we are done? Um, I just want to take this time out to say, um, hey, we appreciate y'all. We do. Uh, thank you for joining us. On this our is why we night. get the job with two vlogs in a week. <laughs> Man. If y'all have not watched the Vegas vlog, there's a lot of foolery going on in it, and it's a fun time. So make sure you. Oh, my elbow. Make sure you go check that out. Um, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, obviously, and make sure you are following us on the IG page at LNS the podcast. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all for joining us as always. And we will see y'all next Wednesday. Bye.